Hello Aries and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your February 2023 reading for Sun, Moon and Rising. Please be mindful that energies are non-gender specific. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And if this does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe, it's totally free. And uh, comment and share. Before we begin with your February forecast, we'll just cleanse the energy and tune into the space. So if you'd like to join me on a breath in... And exhale. Okay, Aries, let us see what February has in store for you. So we'll be doing three piles. Uh, also, please be mindful that energies are non-gender specific. So take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And please do give me a thumbs up if this does resonate with you. I do appreciate it. Subscribing is totally free. Right. So we'll get a general energy for the month of February to see what the core card is. All right. What you need to know for February moving forward. Pleasure. Oh, very nice. Okay, so indulging in all forms of pleasure this month, be it physical, emotional, mental, spiritual. Okay, it also says that you're going to have a lot of opportunity to be connecting with pleasures in your life. It's a really good time, especially if things are a little bit chaotic in your world, to find pause for moments of pleasure. Now we're going to get three piles. The first pile will be a current energy starting the month. The middle pile will be anything that's unseen. Any surprises, challenges, obstacles. And then the final pile will be the outcome for the month of February. And we will clarify it as well. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Page of Swords. Okay, don't worry, I will show you in a moment. Ten of Wands. The Fool. Ooh. King of Cups. Outcome, Three of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Four of Cups. Ha! Huh. Interesting. So, Aries, you have you start off the month pretty strong with the six of pentacles. You get you're on the receiving end of a good trade, to the degree where um, anything that you've done in the past, I see you receiving the renum, 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 uh, the, the re reciprocal kind of money for it. Um, this could even be a gift, a monetary gift or a physical gift, material item, property, that sort of stuff. Not not major, it's not a ten of pentacles, but it's a six. So it comes with the space of harmonious, equal give and take of the flow, the natural flow. Okay, we've got the Knight of Cups now, so we're moving with the, um, with the space of love. It could be someone offering their, their heart, um, who maybe even wears their heart in their sleeves, so someone who's quite romantic, um, for those interested in love. For others of you, this is just a lovely gesture. But, um, and you've got loads, loads of news coming, but we will clarify and I will show you. What's unseen though for the month of February is something's coming to a complete end and you, and then you're moving on to the full brand new venture in life. A brand new, it's like a paradigm shift, a brand new um, approach to life. Um, setting out into the wild with new, exciting, innocent, pleasurable, childlike ideas for the future, okay? And that brings you emotional well-being in the heart space, okay? But the end of the month may see you having to just close off some old things from, from the past in order to bring this full energy, this new venture into a better placement to move forward. And with that, you may have to stand in your power, work and stand in conviction, and um, see the opportunities around you rather than getting too complacent that things are taking a bit of time. So this King of, uh, the, the Six of Pentacles, King, Knight of Cups and Page of Swords, okay, is your current energy, okay? So um, a lovely gift coming in for you, working with the space of the heart and some news. 
So let us see how that pans out for you. Let's clarify. That was a Queen of Wands that just wanted, wanted to jump out there. Okay, Six of Pentacles, please, for Aries. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands again, the Hierophant, and the Page of Swords again. So we have some repeating cards already in your reading. Okay, um, it does feel to me like you are having to sort of step into your power a bit with um, organizations or systems that have um, the all say. It's, it's like um, systems and organizations, this system, bureaucracy, red tape, uh, the company that you work for, governmental bodies, anything like that. We're well, having to kind of stand your power and sort of protect what is yours. But the Seven of Wands is also a card of conviction. So you are able to do so as long as you don't sort of become too petty with it. And we've got news coming through as well. So I do feel that if you're waiting on hearing from something where you may be compensated, compensated on a monetary aspect, even though we don't have the Justice card here, the Hierophant tells me that it is some sort of payout that is owed to you, and you will hear news of this. So that is really nice to start to start the month off. Okay, it could even be where you have like clocked up some charges in your bank account, and um, without even realizing over the course of years, and now the bank needs to pay you back, right? Or it could be where um, your you didn't you lost some expense receipts. Uh, for some 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 work you did with regards to your employment and now you're getting that return to you but with interest it's something where you are gaining okay but it's obviously to do with something that you've put into but it's working with the natural flow of things okay give and take give and take give and take but it's more than you expect knight of cups please oh. okay we'll take those because they're three We've got the Five of um, Cups there, the Two of um, Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. So this seems to me like someone's coming towards you, and it could even be that you know they've heard of some good news your way and they want a piece of the action, although I'm not really strongly getting that information yet. feels to me that someone's coming back into your life and trying to kind of... Um, Trying to come back in, basically. Now, I don't have any nostalgic cards. I don't have any cards in the past. But it's someone who's sort of coming towards you and offering a cup of love. But I, I, I see you're sort of you're too hurt from the past with that five of cups, okay? You're just about managing to handle things. Um, you can't be taking on any... Um, it's weird, though, because you will be taking on something new this month. But this is something different. You know this energy. You are familiar with this kind of energy. Someone wants to either like a friend that you've lost touch with, a family member that you're estranged from, an ex-partner, whatever the case may be. Someone is wanting to sort of come back into your life. And I feel like um, it hurts you in the heart because I don't think they quite realize um, the, the damage that they did. And so it puts you in a heavy space of the heart in thinking about that time that went down, that really caused. Now the Five of Cups also talks about this two cups behind you which represent the future. But I feel like you've been kind of, you've been juggling it, you've been sort of working it out in your head in all sorts of manners, but you realize, no, it's dead done and over with. I don't want any part of this, okay? And what I feel as well that's enabling you to be so sure and certain about this decision, about saying, um, saying no thank you, thanks but no thanks, is um, I feel like this um, gift, this monetary gift, this karmic payback has sort of built up your confidence to a degree where you are recognizing your worth just a little bit than before, you know. So when someone comes, turns around and wants to return back into your life, you really question the, the, the sense of is it really worth it? Uh, where are my priorities now? Because when we take on a person in our life, um, all sorts of relationships we have in our lives but when we take on a person we take the package okay so the good has always got to outweigh the bad because we all have good and bad qualities about ourselves and it depends on what the dynamics are between two people as well so I feel like you're kind of you giving it some time to think about it but I feel like you're gonna arrive at that decision of nah mm, not for me thank you very much 
Now, Page of Swords, we've got some news coming in through communication or technology. A message. Three of Cups. Oh, Six of Swords. Ten of Cups. Yes. So it's almost like the universe is really celebrating you and congratulating you for being honoring yourself and allowing yourself not to sort of repeat history from the past, you know, because we've got some good news about some sort of celebration, some sort of event where you can reunite with people from the past, okay? It puts you in a nice frame of mind. It puts you into a peaceful frame of mind and ultimately um, it makes you feel like you're emotionally fulfilled. So it could be to do with sort of returning back home and spending some time back home, some news about that, or someone um, from your past is returning back in your home environment. Um, but this is a nice one. This isn't the kind of, the one where someone's wanting to sort of like, like worm their way back in. This is something different. This is lovely, okay? It could also, it could also be if there's a work event that there's travel involved to do that and it brings about this wonderful feeling of um, well-being and fulfillment and being connected to your soul tribe, you know, the people who are on your wavelength. So good news regarding that. Um, I'm feeling both work and home vibes there. Right, then we work into the what is unseen for the month of February. You've got this grand ending, which could be a continuation of that, but we will clarify and find out. We've got the full card and then we've got the king of cups okay so what this tells me is when you're ready to say goodbye to um uh, to burdens and responsibilities from the past that kept you weighed down you start to invite the energy of the full card which is also your kind of childlike kind of innocence and purity quality of thinking about the future thinking about moving forward in a positive way but in a way that you've not done before and then we've got the King of Cups here, which is beautiful energy of kind of emotional groundness and connectedness to all that is. Yes, it's wonderful, um, despite what's going on around you. So let us clarify. Ten of Wands, please. Where are you finishing off? Now, tens represent completions, okay? Ones usually is the stuff that you do, okay? The things that you have to handle. Uh, you can see the end goal, but you're not quite there yet. You're just at that finish line. Four of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, Fool, again, okay? So I do feel, hmm, this is really interesting because it feels different to this other closing. So whoever wanted to return back into your life where you're like, nah, you know what, no thank you. What you don't see coming is that there's something different that you are closing off. And you're not ready to tell anyone about it. You're keeping your cards close to your chest. You're spending some time to really kind of suss it out on all avenues with the hangman, gain enlightenment, and then we've got the full card again. So it could be that um, the burden you were carrying was in, in the form of uh, finance, okay? Finance that you perhaps um, didn't have. It's, it's, it's weird because it doesn't, it's not the five of pentacles. So it's not like finance where you thought you didn't have enough because you're getting a gift that's coming in. But I feel like you are saying, good, it's weird, you're saying goodbye. It's like it, for some of you, it could be that you are paying off a debt and um, you are now gonna be a bit wiser with your finances or your, or your money and not be so frivolous, okay, with a fool. Um, but it marks the completion of something. So it does feel like you're finishing something off as it relates to a payment of sorts, a payment plan, finances, um, owings of some nature, rent in arrears or whatever the case may be it feels to me like you're very close to the end of that cycle and you would because it's, it's unexpected right because you didn't realize you'd have something coming in, in the beginning of february so that enables you to kind of look at your sense of wealth a sense of assets sense of material goods 
and um, kind of going, how can I conserve? How can I work towards the future? How can I make this work for me? Because it's almost like I don't see a complete clean slate financially necessarily, although it could be. But it does feel like, um, ah, it's like you have liberated yourself to a certain degree, which I really like. And it may take you another month to do it because he's a 10, so he's very close to the end of the goal, but not quite there. And then we move into the world card. I mean, the full card. Oh, that was a Freudian slip. World card is the end of a major arcana. Fool is right at the beginning. So it's kind of one and the same thing, really. I saw the towel wanted to pop out there, but it didn't. So there we go. <clears throat> the Fool. Four of Cups again. The Emperor. Okay, so the other thing you don't see coming, brand new exciting way of life moving forward. This could be a new job, this could be a new partnership, this could be whatever the case may be, right? But this is an offering from Spirit, from that fourth cup, it's being offered from the heavens, okay? You see that fourth cup? It's going to take you out of the state of just plodding along, plodding along, plodding along. And that's why the, uh, the Ten of Wands is here, because you've, you've closed something off, so you no longer need to plod along. You can now start to get excited. We've got the Justice, and we've got the Emperor card here. So now what's happening is you're starting to take a big, hard, long look at your future. You're looking at your future wealth, your future position, your status, your um, how you impact the world. And because the Justice card is here, it's basically saying, karmically, you are in receiving mode of this. So not only do you get a, a hint of it at the beginning of the month, but that Six of Pentacles, okay, where the systems that be, the Hierophant has awarded this back to you, you are also getting it from the universe on a bigger scale, saying, well, you, we know now um, that not only is this karmically owed to you, justice doesn't turn up unless there has been an injustice. So again, if you are waiting for an approval or an acceptance in some degree, I feel like you really are crossing all the all the T's, dotting all the I's, okay? I would say that this is a huge opportunity for you because it comes from spirit and it comes with the full energy and it comes with justice in the emperor. So you've got everything serving you at this time, but you have to wait throughout the course of a month to see how that plays out for you it feels kind of work related money monetary money related but something that's going to make you feel very very excited for some of you as well obviously this is not going to resonate for anyone everyone but if you've been trying for a baby um you may be very fertile at this time okay king of cups please can we clarify the king of cups that's a nine of cups there, which is lovely, but we're not taking jumpers. Sorry, that was a nine of pentacles, I mean. It's also kind of like a money card. I, f I feel like you're going to be really, you're going to be really feeling kind of, you know that feeling where you put your all into something and you receive the rewards, and then it's not like you're looking for validation from anyone or syllable applause from anyone or approval but you just sort of it's like you're sitting back and you're going yes this feels right this feels i feel content i feel right that's a feeling that you're going to be getting this month which is really nice king of cups please let's see how that plays out eight of pentacles strength card and Seven of Swords. Yeah, interesting. So even though you're embracing this energy, I feel like it takes quite a lot of work with, oh, let me show you. With the, uh, it takes quite a lot of practical work to do this, okay? So what I mean by practical is it takes like that conscious decision to walk in nature, ground yourself, or I'm gonna now do some meditation, or I'm gonna do some journaling. I feel like you're working on it because it's requiring a little bit of strength, a bit of courage, stepping into uh, out of your comfort zone. And in a way, look, it's 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 about kind of finding strategies 
because um, this is like a card of strategy. Uh, it can also be like lying, cheating, stealing energy, but it is a yellow card in tarot, which is actually upliftment. It's a positive card and it's looking for a way around it. So I feel like you are achieving the sense of like equilibrium in your emotional body, but you're using very practical methods to do so. Um, and that's going to keep you on a very, very solid path kind of with embracing this um, new beginning. So obviously for some of you who um, may be wanting to fall pregnant, maybe you are, again, you're taking very solid practical um, changes in your lifestyle habits to, you know, which may, you know, may be quite difficult to do because it requires strength and stamina, determination. But I feel you're able to do it. I just want to get another card for the six, the seven of swords. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So for some of you as well, it may be the course where this new endeavor that you're taking part of, you're participating, you're starting this new um, beginning for yourself. It's um, I love these two energies together because the Queen of Pentacles is extremely resourceful. Okay, she can she can mold things out, carve things out to her will. Uh, she doesn't necessarily need the finance. She can ask for favors. She can trade skills and services in order to get what she wants. She can just, she can sell things in her home to then get something, a service paid or, or played out, um, whatever the case may be. But both these cards talk about being resourceful and finding um, strategies outside the box. And this is all with regards to this emotional kind of contentment that you're having. You're starting to recognize in February how, how um, kind of like what your worth is, but in a different way. It's like you're looking at it from a very practical uh, perspective. And you're looking at that and you're kind of going, okay, well, I know I can do this, I know I can do this, I know I can do this. So you're starting to see yourself as a glass half full, um, or even full completely, uh, although we'll never quite fully ever recognize how immensely powerful we are in this 3D reality. But you are, more than you can imagine. However, uh, you are starting to see yourself more in a positive frame of mind. I'm not saying that you think of yourself badly, I'm just thinking that we all have restrictions and limitations we put on ourselves. And this month of February, having closed something off, embraced the new, you are really stepping into kind of like, I got this. Kind of energy okay but it may take a little bit of um, practical measures to do so like affirmations and um, you know finding ways to even trick the mind and the ego whatever the case may be for you okay moving into the outcome for February we have the three of Pentacles seven of wands and the four of cups so straight away even though you're wanting to embrace this new beginning there may be something that needs to be fixed before you do so and again, it's like the case of, um, it's like you want to take that fourth cup, you want global travel, you want to move forward, you want to experience the world, okay? But it may be that you need to, so for some of you, it could be a situation at work where you have to pitch something. It could be a situation where you have to um, prove, now, now you've, you, you're starting to recognize your worth more in a very, almost uh, in a very unique way. So you could paint the picture of yourself in a way that cannot be painted by anybody else. Um, but I do feel like there is some sort of, in order to bring this this full energy into reality, even if so, for example, you want to, you're working for a company and now you want to work remotely, but abroad, you know, or, or that's, that's just sort of the energy I'm feeling, right? Obviously it doesn't have to be that, but it feels like you might have to go back on something and work with a few other people in um, either fixing something that was faulty in the past, okay, um, to be able to prove your worth, to be able to evidence your worth and, and show your conviction of this in order to take that fourth cup. And the reason why I'm saying abroad is because I'm feeling um, the, that ship in the distance over there is that fourth cup. I don't know if you can see that there, but there's a ship there that uh, allows the, um, the man who's on the island, who's kind of got everything he needs, but does he, does he really have fulfillment? Well, I feel like you, you are bringing that and drawing that into your life. So, very nice. So let's see, what are you fixing? What do you need to collaborate with? What do you need to go back on? That was the Knight of Pentacles, by the way, but I'm not taking any jumpers. Three of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, King of Swords, Four of Wands. 
So you're taking a brand new look at something from the past and you're breathing new life, new emotional well-being into it, okay? You're getting the expert advice, you're getting experts involved to sort of really validate your choices, prove your worth, and it's to create some sort of, um, something that has a bit more of a grounding to it, a bit more of a foundation to it. So for some of you, like if it is kind of like a work situation, I feel like you're breathing new life into it with this excitement because perhaps you've been giving, you've been in the receiving end of some sort of scientific information that can help you bring something to a close, to fix something, to rejuvenate something, which in, will enable you to take this uh, full energy in the future. So it feels like you have to kind of go backwards before you have to go forward. Um, and for others of you, it could be the situation where by you are um, needing to work with other people and get them really excited the way you are. And I uh, perhaps this is a weird energy. I've never picked up on this before. It's almost like you're trying to, um, not seduce in a you know thingy way, but kind of like, inspire a bureaucrat to um, help you create a foundation. Now it could be a foundation in a sense of work, it could be um, some sort of foundation abroad, it could be some sort of working holiday, or it could even be like a holiday event. Something like that. And it feels to me like you're inspiring someone who's very serious and always looks at the facts and figures. And <laughs> it's the King of Swords is, a, is someone, male or female, is really kind of straight, straight and down the line, blunt. Looks at the facts, looks at the figures of the low. And it's almost like you're getting this King of Swords, this expert in their field, to kind of get really like <gasps> excited about it. It's really a funny energy. I love it. And, it. and I feel the reason why is because you've got so much charisma this time. You're starting to, you recognize your values and how... It, you can really inspire others at this time and um, I feel like you wouldn't have been able to do this not only if you not received some some funds coming in but also said goodbye to something that used to kind of limit you so now you you're kind of like like growing and expanding yourself and as you do so you have this really lovely rippling effect on other people who are not normally inclined to do that so it really feels to me like you're kind of getting someone really excited and inspired about your vision it's lovely. Seven of seven of ones, please. Ace of Swords. Three of Pentacles again. King of Cups. We've got the Three of Pentacles and the King of Cups again for you. So it's just like <coughs> excuse me. You really are harnessing this energy. Okay. So you have the conviction. In your direction in this new venture that you're taking you have conviction because pretty much exactly what I was saying because now you've proved you've been able to give a brand new perspective okay with the ace of swords onto the thing that you had to fix or work on okay and that enables and um, this is weird because this feels like the king of cups feels like um, the determining body Okay, so even if it was like a family sort of business or even what if it was like some sort of relationship where um, you want to take it to the next level, it's like you inspire the, the, the forces or the powers that be to get on your side, which is all good and well, but then that enables a brand new look on the situation, okay? A brand new look at how something is operated in the physical world, a brand new look at fixtures, at um, resources, physical resources, even energy, fuel, that sort of thing, okay? And then with the King of Cups in this element here, it feels to me, and I it's not what the card means, but intuitively I'm picking up on the type of, um, I don't want to say a hierarchy, but it'll be someone kind of above a king of swords energy. So you have like the expert in the field, but then you have the deciding factor. The person on top who really decides whether something moves forward or not. Okay, Because it really does feel like you're having to pitch for your desire here. You get this like oh, amazing aha moment. Everything is standing in your favor. Justice, emperor, you can see the distance, you can see the few, you can, you, you kind of got it all worked out. How can you work around the, the red tape? All of that sort of stuff. You inspire the right people and then you have that conviction of using the evidence of seeing something that's been done before but not quite in your way. And that's the thing you're presenting. 
um, to like the King of Cups, and I feel like it's it's you're gonna he, the King of Cups is very kind of as I said before, really kind of settled and grounded despite the chaos. So when you come through with this like emotional like um, conviction about your beliefs, about the things that you want, normally it wouldn't really hit the King of Cups too much because he's so emotionally intelligent and grounded in his emotional body that he doesn't allow himself to be like caught up in all of this stuff but it feels like it's like it works the opposite the evidence um, plays at his heartstrings so he he would love to be caught up in the emotional excitement of it but because he's a king of cups he doesn't right so he's now doing what the king of swords does you see what I mean it's like a, a two-way street in a way and he would love to say yes 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 but he knows because he's balanced he should look at other avenues as well because he's got wisdom in that and when you provide the evidence and the wisdom and the new perspective and that conviction he's actually so happy because he's like he can allow himself to connect with his emotional body and his idea of humanity for all well, I don't know why all this is it's, it's just weird it feels big whatever this venture is this new beginning it feels like it has a very positive impact on not just yourself on more on more um like a bigger picture kind of vibe because of the emperor so it's really 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 nice and it feels like you have the skills you have certain talents that you can offer to this but not only that you have your new unique vision that you've created you've found a new way of doing something which is very exciting. Let's look at that Four of Cups. The Moon card wanted to jump out. But I'm not taking jumpers. Okay. Four of Cups, please. The World. Three of Wands and Nine of... Uh, Nine of Swords. Okay, so you're in this phase of here kind of going, oh yeah, I want to travel, I want to have more experiences in my life, but am I just asking too much? Well, the thing that's coming to an end is this waiting. Um, it feels to me like waiting and being a little bit anxious about answers. Okay, that is the thing that's coming to an end with the World card. You are going to get, it's like you've been waiting on this... Um, on this island for so long waiting for the opportunity the opportunity comes your way you've been anxious about it sleepless nights okay it's, it's causing you a bit of grief that is the thing that's coming to an end now with the world card you're now having a very global perspective on things okay for the good of all it really does feel like it's going to have a very um positive impact on um, humanity or Mother Gaia, our physical environment. It really feels that way. So, go for it. Um, I will get an oracle card just to end this reading. So, what does Aries need to know for their highest good, please? Imrama, uh, where are you being called to journey to? Okay, so remember I've been talking about travel, I've been talking about kind of global aspects, so this could obviously be um, metaphoric, but it could also be very literal. There is, you're, you're stumbling upon some sort of like aha moment within yourself, and this thing couldn't come into being, unless you had your unique journey to get where you are to open that up and to open the the channels to get this idea and vision that you have so there is um you have a calling a deep calling that's coming through for you in february and you've been called to um follow a path i mean in this pleasure card we have a pathway as well okay follow a path um either kind of uh, in the work front in the emotional body 
or a physical path um, to have a new experience but it feels like it feels really big where you be caught a journey to it's like it's like deep down you kind of know that you need to do this okay so that's why you're recognizing it's, it's like it's a higher calling in a way and so that's why you there's no BS anymore you're not going to kind of um, dance around the subject anymore you're gonna you're going to the source you're gonna go no no this is what needs to happen I have the skill set to do so I have the connections to do so I have people on my side so I better go and do it so it's really big Aries wow so that's all I have for you. I'm going to be moving on to the extended reading now. So if this does resonate with you, uh, you can go to the description box below, click on the link. Um, it's four pounds or five US dollars uh, to purchase the extended. And we're going to be looking at this ending, the thing that you've, you've brought to an end with the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords energy over there in order to bring all of this other stuff to fruition. So we're going to have a deeper look at that and we're going to get a message from Spirit. What you need to know right now that's going to serve you at this time. Okay, so I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. Please give me a thumbs up uh, or subscribe. That would be wonderful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.